Now take a look at shares of Paramount, which are jumping more than 8% today on a possible streaming deal with Apple. The Wall Street Journal reporting the entertainment giants are in talks about bundling their services to attract and retain subscribers. Is the bundle making a comeback? Let's ask Barton Crockett, senior analyst at Rosenblatt Securities, and our CNBC senior media and entertainment correspondent, Julia Borston. Great to have you both here. Julia, the, the details first. What exactly does this partnership reportedly look like? Well, I'll tell you, I got a no comment from both Apple as well as from Paramount. But I would say that this would make a lot of sense. The idea is that Paramount Plus would be bundled together with Apple TV Plus. And I would note that what there are sort of positive and negative things that could create this kind of partnership. On the negative side, both Paramount and Apple TV Plus have higher than average churn. That's how frequently people drop the service. Both both of those services have over 7% churn, whereas the average in October was 5.7%. So by bundling together, they could minimize reasons why people would think it would be okay to drop the service because they're getting more from the service. And then on the positive end, Paramount has seen a lot of upside from partnering with other companies. Paramount has partnered with Walmart Plus, with Delta. They have international deals with Sky um, in the UK and in Europe. So they see the opportunity in bundling. So there could be a lot of upside here from these two services teaming up. And Barden, if I'm not mistaken, you kind of read this differently than the market, which currently is excited for Paramount and kind of shrugging its shoulders for Apple. But do you see it potentially the other way around? Well, look, I, I do think that um, we need to know what the terms are. So Apple has tons of leverage. Uh, Paramount has had partnerships. They have been um, um, certainly contributing to subgrowth, and the company speaks favorably about the economics. Um, you know, Apple's a different bird, um, so we'll see what they're able to negotiate with Apple. Um, you know, I, I do think in, in the kind of bigger picture, um, you know, it's very clear to me that over time, um, streaming needs to migrate towards these big tech platforms. And I thought uh, breakups and sales of libraries, sales of sports assets is, is the way that's going to happen. Certainly these partnerships, these kind of synthetic bundlings may be kind of a partial step. Um, but it's also not clear to me that, you know, if Apple's going in that direction, that Paramount would be the only participant. Right. Verizon, for instance, works with many. No, I like your, your point. You said Apple probably does well in this tie-up. The question is whether Paramount will, and that goes back to you said, what is the price that they are ultimately getting? And you say the yeah. first media guy to sell out to a tech company will likely get the best deal. Why do you think that is? Well, I, I do think that um, there's a bit of musical chairs, right? So if you think about the big media companies, if you think the world is transitioning uh, and streaming towards the tech platforms, you know, there's not necessarily a partner for every media company. So, you know, the last guy to move might be in musical chairs land, kind of left without a seat. So mm -hmm. I do think that, that, you know, it's best to move to see where the future is going and move in that direction. I think the media companies have a hard time wrapping their minds around that. So I think we're stuck in this kind of um, interim period where people are trying to figure out the future. But I think, you know, with hindsight, we'll see it's moving towards tech. Um, you best embrace it.